because of one thing in common. Um, that's we use Leichiru kind of movements to manipulate his spine. Um, say Sankara. Instead of taking him down this time, I'm going to do a 
the Song Chin arm guard thrust position. <laughs> and it gives me a lovely little neck lock. And, and you can't even see it coming. I can knee the head. I can reach over and grab the chin. Back up a little bit. On, tape? on the other side of the blue. Uh... Yeah. There you go. Okay. So he, he goes to clinch me, and the first thing I do is I put vertical palm up, and I've rotated his neck past the stall. As a matter of fact, I have a takedown. But I won't. Did that show? Did it look like a neck crack? I'll do it from the other direction, actually. Maybe it'll cover better. Okay. So buddy, buddy clinches me, I'm going to come in and underhook him on this side to keep him nice and close. I'm going to take his head and just push it away from me, cranking his neck. Let's do this on the mat. Is that okay? I'll go like Me and Frank? Yeah. Okay, so Mike, Mike's clinching me and he's pulling me in, so I said, okay, I'm going to come in. I'm going to underhook you up and clinch him nice and tight. From that position, I'm going to inside cross face him, which... Uh, Locks out his neck. His, his head is off his base. His hips, all of her body is off the base. All the moves are such a step. We were right to the ground with that clinch. That's a strike. That's a messed up neck. <laughs> it hurts enough without rubbing it. Okay. Oh, other variations of deck clinching. Okay, He's, I'm going to do sword to shield posture, and basically I'm going to do a sanction thrust, driving his elbow across body, which gives gives him a little off balance, gives me an opportunity to enter over top. From this position, I'm simply going to turn 90 degrees and do a thrust. And what we end up with, let's just walk over the mic. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll watch for you so you can't see. Good, good. What we end up with here is a wicked neck crank because his head's caught behind my back. And if I drive, drive my arm, I hurt his neck. So this actually motion is done like this. Making big impact of the bicep. One side of the neck driving it forward. If this doesn't finish the job, we turn again really quickly. And his feet won't keep up with his head and his neck loses. Way through the in close fighting system. Elbows are in close techniques. Elbows are thrown from this range. But yet yeah, in lots of ricottas, throwing elbows like this. And that makes no sense. Because if I throw a hit my with an elbow from here. It'll never land. Okay. You'll see it coming. Maybe you either jam it or you won't be there. So why would you step with an elbow? Well, here's an idea. Give me a push of that angle. This is an elbow strike. His head's in the middle of it. From there, I'm going to perform the traditional Wichiru back fist, which takes him down with hyper extended neck. I also have a lock here. I also have spine here that explains. Next hyperextended is my knee is in the back. Two guys for you. Absolutely. Oh, that's a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to show it from the other side so you can get a better view. Uh, so he throws a punch with that hand or a push. Okay. Do a circle walk. Step in. Reach over top. Grab the chin. Go down. I'll go gentle this time. And you see he's still locked. You know, he can't see the punches coming and come back. Bring his arm. I almost did. And I can put pressure on his hip and ribcage. Keep him where I want him. Too clear now? Yeah. Okay. 